to black, green smoke to black, green turn to black, yeah, that's what we stand for, green turn to black. Green... Hello everybody, what's up? Uh, Russian Miles here, it's been a long, long time since I have made a YouTube video. Uh, I said a while ago that I was reading a book called The Atheist Universe, and uh, here it is. Uh, universe. I finished that. That was a good book. Um, you guys should de definitely check it out. Um, some of you might be wondering, what's all this? That's red. Well, it's kind of faded to orange, but it was originally red. Um, there aren't many updates I can give you since I really haven't been doing much, which is kind of sad. Uh, but anyway. In this video today, I will talk to you guys about the laws of logic. Okay. Now, Christians, well, I'm not going to say Christians. A lot of Christians say that atheists say that the laws of logic govern, any, govern everything. Just like the laws of physics do and the laws of mathematics, that all these laws govern everything. That's not true. See, the universe governs the laws, not the other way around. Uh, we get our laws of logic from what we observe, and what we observe could always change, okay? Uh, and sometimes, let, let's take physics for example, sometimes in science, to make new discoveries, you have to completely forget about the laws of physics, because the laws aren't the universe's laws, they are the human laws, okay? The universe is a completely different. From what, you, from what you have observed so far, you're right. The laws you wrote down for how the universe does everything, it's right from what you have observed, but that could always change. In the laws, okay, let's use laws of physics. If I take a gun, point it straight out horizon, okay? And I take a bowling ball, and I shoot and drop the bowling ball at the exact same time, which one will hit the ground first? You'd think that the bowling ball would hit the ground first, but it won't. They will hit the ground at the same time. Now, you have to forget about common sense in this one. Why? Because you'd think that, hey, the bowling ball is going straight down, but that one's going horizontal. See, here's the thing. When you shoot a bullet, it, it, it's a projectile, okay? So when you shoot it straight horizontally, the vertical speed is the same as the bowling ball because they're both acted upon by gravity, okay? And since, you're, and since it's on Earth, they're going to hit the ground at the same time. Just one will be really far out. So, in conclusion, the laws don't govern the universe, but the universe governs the laws, and you could always change it. Just like uh, in the early 1900s, people said that, hey, you know what, the universe can't be expanding. That doesn't make any sense. You know, that, was, that, was, uh, that idea was frowned upon, but now we know it to be completely true. You have to completely forget about whatever you know and use what you have to come up with a conclusion. You can't, I mean, you can use your previous knowledge to see how that works out, but sometimes you just can't. It doesn't fit. So you just look at all this, like, you see all this stuff happening in the universe, and you take a conclusion from that. You know, there could be a bunch of different cases where, hey, in this case, this works, in this case, this works, and that could be completely valid, but the laws are what we observe. The universe has its own laws, and they don't change, but our outlook of them can, 